Yesterday, I found a 14 pound maitake mushroom. Hey everybody, welcome to our first ever tutorial on Wildcraft Trading Company. My name is Alexis and today I'm gonna show you how to clean a maitake mushroom. Uh, in order to keep these videos short, instead of showing you how to harvest it, clean it, uh, process it, cook it, all of that, I'm gonna avoid all of that. I'm gonna break it up into a three or four part series to tell you about the benefits and all the steps in order to incorporate these into your diet. As always, do not eat any wild mushroom that you're not a hundred percent certain what it is. You need to double check, triple check, quadruple check, that's my disclaimer because I'm not responsible if you screw up. So let's get started. It's gonna take a while because it's dirty and it's got bugs in it. As I mentioned, they are very dirty. Hen in the woods or maitake have a lot of layers to them and there's a lot of dirt that gets in between the layers. So you really need to make sure you take the time to separate them and fully, fully clean it. Because if you don't, um, in the middle of the winter, when you go into your lovely uh, maitake or hen of the woods and soaked in olive oil and garlic, you'll also get a face full of dirt. So uh, you do want to separate them. It's really easy. If you want to take a knife, you can cut this stem part off and separate it. Some people eat it, some people throw it out. I keep it and I'll show you what to do with them. So I keep them in a separate bowl, but you're going to want to take all these little layers and separate them. This one's actually pretty clean, but sometimes you'll go through them and you'll find like a bug that crawls out. So you do have to be really, really careful. So separate them all out. I put them in water here. See, that's like that tough woody part. Um, cooks completely differently than this part. I kind of have two different recipes depending on what part of it I'm using, but it's dirty. And it takes time. This is not a quick process. This does not go quickly. This takes probably a few hours. And again, uh, like I said, the mushroom is 14 pounds and we did get a smaller one also. So this will probably take me a few hours. Soak it in the water. Let me sleep up. You want to agitate it a little bit, you know, this way the debris and the dirt gets loose. And once you do the initial soak, you're going to dump the water, fill the water back up again, give it another good rinse. And then you actually have to go through almost piece by piece to either scrape off or wipe off any dirt that's on there. Bug hole. Could be bugs in there. So it didn't take long, but we did find one. You'll find a little hole and when you follow a little trail, that's what you get. There'll be bugs in your maitake. It grows in nature, bugs are in nature. It's just the way that it goes. That's why you have to make sure that you properly clean it and rinse it. Usually on the first rinse, they come out. By the third rinse, I don't ever really find them. If you've done a proper job, you will not either. Once you've changed the water two or three times, just give each piece a quick look over to make sure there's no dirt or debris on them. After that, you're pretty much set to go. Give it one final rinse. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to show you guys how to store them for the winter and how to cook them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the links below in the description box for all of our products and links to our social media.